guys, it's Kara. For today's video, I decided to show you what is on my iPhone. I have an iPhone 7 and I've had it for about nine months, maybe 10. So I like watching these videos and I figured I would do one. To start off, this is what my phone looks like. It's just the iPhone 7. My background is just a picture of Eric and me at a Chicago Cubs game, which was fun. And then I have an OtterBox case. It's supposed to be protective, which I think it is. And the background is aqua, which is my favorite color, obviously. And then this was supposed to be like light pink or coral. It's kind of like really dingy because the inside of my purse is black. So every time I like take my phone in or out, it rubs off on here and kind of turns it like a dark color, but oh well. When you first open up my phone, this is what it looks like. And just so you know, that red line on the top isn't usually there. That's just from my screen recording app, which I'm using right now to record the screen. So that's not usually there, but on the top left corner, I have my calendar app, which I use that all the time. And then I have the weather app and I use the weather channel app instead of the weather app that came on the iPhone just because I think this has cooler stuff and I like it better and I use that every day. I have the app store, Safari, my clock app which I use for my alarm every day and then Google Maps which I use Google Maps instead of Apple Maps because Apple Maps took me like in weird directions. I don't even know how to explain it, but I haven't had any problems with Google Maps and I know a lot of people use that like Waze app. I haven't tried that, so I just stick with Google Maps because I have no complaints with it. And then I have settings and then my notes app, which I use that every day too. I keep like my grocery list on there, birthday gift ideas, YouTube stuff, so. Then I have my calculator. I have the Bible app, which I love this. It's just the basic Bible app and they put like an inspiring verse on there every day. It's like the verse of the day. And so I look at that every morning, like first thing when I wake up just to see what it is. And it's always something good. And then I have my Chase app. I have my camera app. Oh, there's my foot. <laughs> Hi. And then I have my photos app. Then down on the bottom, I don't know what that's, that thing is called but um i keep like the stuff that i think is most phone related i guess i know a lot of people keep like their most used stuff down there but i have my phone app contacts messages and email so i use the messages and phone a lot obviously the other two not as much but yeah and then when you swipe over this is like my more fun page i guess or like extra stuff so <clears throat> In the top left, I have a social folder, which I didn't call it that. The phone just put that when I made this folder. So I have Snapchat, which if you guys want to follow me on Snapchat, this is the only social media I use. So I have that. I'll link it below and I'll probably put it on the screen somewhere. Then I have Pinterest, which I love Pinterest and I've been like obsessed with it lately. And I used to have all my boards private so no one could see them, but I just recently made almost all of them public. So if you want to follow me, my name is Kara Jane and I love Pinterest. I'm on here all the time. I just think it's so fun. And then I have WhatsApp, which I use because we have like international relatives and it's so expensive to text them. So we use this. It's basically just a texting app and you can either text someone individually or like have a big group text, which that's what we do. We just have all the relatives in this group chat and we like send stuff every day so that's really fun and like really convenient then I have FaceTime I have Facebook which I don't have a Facebook and that was from Eric's Facebook which he doesn't even really use that anymore so I guess I could delete that then I have record it which is the app that I'm using to record the screen right now and then I have Instagram which I have an account but I don't post I basically just have it so that Eric and my sisters can send me stuff so I won't like say the username because it's kind of pointless and then I have an extra folder, which is basically just a bunch of apps that like came on the phone that can't be deleted, but I don't use. And there's just some random stuff in there. And then I have Google Photos, which is basically an app where you can just back up all your like phone photos and stuff. So that's nice. Then I have Pandora. I have a countdown app so I can count down to like special dates and vacations or whatever. Then this is like the most fun folder. This is for stores. So I have the pink app. I have the Bath and Body Works app, which you can like earn points every time you buy stuff, which I'm there all the time. So this comes in handy. The Target app, which I obviously use all the time. Smoothie King, Noodles, Meyer, Walgreens, Chick-fil-A, and Retail Me Not, which if you've never used Retail Me Not, I have saved so much money on here. And there's probably like a lot of other apps similar, but basically, you can just type in whatever store you're shopping at and it'll bring up any coupons they have. So 
it'll suggest stores or you can like type in a store so you can see the stores that I've searched recently. And yeah, I've saved a ton of money using that app so I would highly recommend it. Then I have my YouTube folder which is basically everything related to my channel. And I have my cloud, which is the app for like our external hard drive that we have and the app actually hasn't worked the past couple times I've used it. So anyway, then I have PicMonkey, iMovie, which I don't even know how to use on a mobile device and Keynote, the YouTube studio app and then the YouTube app, which I have my channel on. And then I have Camera Connect, which is like the Canon app, so I can connect my camera. The camera has Wi-Fi, so basically if you hook it up with this app, you can like take pictures using your phone while the camera's over there or whatever, so that's nice. And then I have Spotify, which I actually just recently started using. I got it a long time ago, and I didn't really get how it worked because I was so used to Pandora, so I just forgot about it and kind of kept using Pandora, but lately my Pandora has been glitching like really bad. It'll play like two songs and then just shut off. And then when I turn it back on, it plays the same songs again. So it's been really annoying. So I decided to get Spotify again and I've been loving it. I've been listening to the Greatest Showman soundtrack on here and I haven't even seen the movie yet. I want to see it so bad, but the soundtrack is so good. So yeah, I've been loving Spotify. And then my last page, this is a productivity folder and I didn't even know I had these apps so anyway oh my background screen is just a picture of me and Eric that we got taken over Christmas break so that's my background and that's my phone so I hope you liked it I'm actually really considering switching to the Google Pixel after my contract is up I've had this for about like nine or ten months and I still have like eight months to go which stinks because I really want to get the Google phone I've had probably four or five iPhones and I'm one of those people that think that Apple has something going on where every time the new phone comes out all the old ones start glitching because that has happened to me on my past two phones like they're brand new I take pretty good care of my phones like I don't drop them a ton I don't submerge them in water or anything and they sh they're totally fine and then a new phone will come out and like within a day or two mine will start glitching really bad and like won't stop so I don't know. Every review I've read or heard of of someone switching from iPhone to the Google phone was really happy with it and so I kind of really want to do it and it looks like a cool phone. And if you know anyone who's done that or if you've done that, let me know what you think in the comments or if you have any pros and cons because I'm really considering doing that. Like if my contract was up right now, I would be going to get the Google phone. I also just hit 1,000 subscribers this week so I just wanted to say thank you for everyone's support and thank you for all the nice comments that you guys put on my videos. It really means a lot and I can't wait to see what's gonna come next. As always, if you have any video requests, leave them in the comments down below and I would love to do some of the videos that you guys wanna see. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you soon with a new video. Bye guys!